Hey guys, Joe's HVAC Fishing and Rail Fan Productions here. We're going to be bringing you a fishing production this afternoon. After the fishing derby, we're going down to the Ackerley Creek where they just stocked it with trout. And we're going to try to catch some dinner tonight. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that later on this afternoon. But that's not what this video is about. This morning, we're going to be showing you my 3-foot Lehigh Valley Yellow Jacket. So, in last night's vlog, we were explaining what, what my four-footer is going to look like. And my three, it'll look just like the three-footer. So, we're going to go ahead and show you that right now. So, here's the three-foot yellow jacket, as you can see right here. You can see this is painted into the Lehigh Valley yellow jacket. And you can see here, this is the, there's some info right there, some July 1922, this was rolled. This is 136 LVH. So it's kind of uncommon around here. You find it all over the main uh, Lehigh Valley. Here's the, here's my custom Lehigh Valley decal I made for it. This is 136 LVH, so it's 136 pounds per yard. It's a section in Lehigh Valley, designation H. So there's that. And here you can see the information on the tie plate. BSCO L, L 13 LV 1926. This one is this one is 1954 that this rail sits on. And we're gonna I'm gonna move the two footer back so you can actually get a closer look at the yellow jacket. So we're going to show you guys that here. Alright, so here it is. You can see it's, it's in the Lehigh Valley Yellow Jacket. So the whole front, the whole front of it is yellow. And you can tell this got a six and a half inch base. This is some pretty big stuff. Height from here to here is seven and a quarter inches. Rail was seven and a half inches in height when new. You can see here, so I hope you can see this okay. Um, feel free to let me know in the comments if I uh, can't see it well. So yeah, this is the LV Yellow Jacket paint scheme. Very, It's a very famous passenger scheme that you can find on the passenger locomotives of the Lehigh Valley. See, so yeah, I also put an LV Custom on this side too. But, see so yeah, how the side of the lighting is a little bit better. Try to set you up here so you can see a little better. So we're gonna point some things out to you guys that makes the LV Yellow Jacket so unique to the railroad. So here's how it was painted. So Lehigh Valley Gray was our base color. So this is LV Gray on the web and up on the top of the head, up about maybe about a quarter of the way up. So you can see here, this is the Lehigh Valley Gray that was used on the locomotives. So a good example, that's the 414, which survives down at Steamtown today. And it's still in the Lehigh Valley Yellow Jacket as it was when it was in passenger service. So you can see here, this is the base color. That's Lee LV Gray. And then I did two coats of that. And then my button and the yellow, which is used, that was LV yellow, which I happened to find the colors I needed for the job. So you can see that right here. This is the LV yellow. So the way the locomotives were painted is they were painted exactly like the way this rail is. So on the bottom of the, below the LV, you got you had yellow on the stripe. So this kind of shows like the yellow stripe. Now the base of the rail was painted yellow because we didn't have any black for it so we just did um, just yellow on the bottom since it's not going to be seen anyway. Um, and here's the, here's the yellow that you would see on the front of the locomotive along the long, along the short hood. So I like, replicated this as best as I could to look like the famous yellow jacket. So you guys can see that. You also see here this one took the this one took the 36, 36 or 38 inch fish blades. I keep forgetting what size that was. 
But anyway, this is what the Lehigh Valley Yellow Jacket looks like. So my four-footer that you guys saw in the vlog last night is going to receive this exact same treatment as what we're looking at right now. And I figure while we're up here, we'll show you a practically complete display that I have set up already. Here's my, here are my two, here's my other original pair of LV rails. These were also saved from the smelter's yard. So I also did a, I did other variations of the yellow jacket. So this one's the blue jacket variant. Which uh, never occurred, but I figured we'd try to do the best we could. So there it is. Blue jacket. And then the orange jacket, which you can see right here. So now the joint bar setup was rather unique, because I did happen to find some full tells, and we saved them as well. And I got them into my shop for restoration. So they're all practically almost mint condition now. Yeah, we're in a little banks. We try to we try to fix them up, but it didn't work out that well. As uh, we didn't we didn't soften the metal at all because we didn't want to alter it and make it look bad. So we just left it as was, and we just tried to bang them out as best we could. So as you can see here, this is a practically complete setup. So you got your you got your two bars. So these are your LV full toe bars. So they're a bit unusual. Um, you know, in a DLW collection, but it's, this is all the fallen flags that we've got. So you can see here, I matched, I painted the joint bars in order to match what half of the, what which rail they were going with. So this one, this one here gets the orange half for the orange jacket. And then this one gets the blue half for the blue jacket. So that is what a practically full display looks like. So it's practically complete. It looks pretty good. And I think it looks fabulous. And just for a comparison, these are almost 30 inches long. Well, these ones are about, I think they're 28 inches long. That is a 27 inch bar and it's a DL&W 130RE Tolis. And then here's a DLW 131RE full toe. So, that's going to do it. Hope you guys like that. I thought you guys might like to see some of my other LV displays that I've got right now. Um, we're going to try to get the other one when we get on Duryea again. We're going to get the other, I think it's a four footer. And we're going to save that as well. And we're going to bring back even more history of the Lehigh Valley. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, little LV explanation here of what the four-footer is going to look like. And also, let me know what you think of the blue-orange jacket variants. Let me know how you think I did. Thanks for watching. See you next time.